Hello, welcome to Jared's Corner. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically um, talk about movies um, and various other things. Um, I am. Um, I guess what I'm gonna talk about maybe because the year is almost up. Maybe about um, a movie from this year. I'm gonna talk about Batman: The Dark Knight Rises. Um, uh, I'm just gonna say it was a great film. I think I like that one the best of the trilogy. Um, Christian Bale is awesome as usual as Batman, as is Michael Caine, Gary Oldman, Morgan Freeman, and I like to Killian Murphy. Um, his cameos just were great. Um, some people uh, were really skeptical. Uh, skeptical. No, skeptical about. Anne Hathaway as Catwoman. I always kind of thought she'd be great. I don't know. I just, I don't know. For some reason, I thought she could pull Catwoman off. And she did. Um, um, like Bane. Tom Hardy was awesome. Um, still, some people were kind of like, really, Tom Hardy. He's like, skinny as hell. Um, but these pe well, these type of things were kind of like um, what people thought when they saw or heard Heath Ledger being the Joker. Like, really? Heath Ledger? Come on. Like, you have to be kidding. Because everybody was like, oh, he's like a pretty boy or something to that effect. Um, but I thought, um, well, you know what? But Heath Ledger would do a good job. And, you know, and unfortunately he did die, which was really horrible. Um, he was very young. I'm like, I mean, when I first heard about him being dead, I'm like, okay, some, this must be like a horrible joke. You know, like somebody thinks probably saying a famous person is dead when they aren't is just funny. Um, aside from the fact they just want to spread a rumor, someone might think it's actually funny, which is, you know, it's disgusting, but it's probably true. Um, and then they were going into more details about how he is dead, and then I'm like, oh, he, he's, it's, that's horrible. Um, and then the movie came out, and it was awesome. Dark Knight was like one of the greatest movies ever. Um, some people might not like this movie as well as the second one. But I thought The Dark Knight Rises was really great. Because it, it completes the series. It, takes, it makes everything come full circle. And you know what? It, isn't that what you really want at the end? Like, the ending is good, and that everything, like, basically comes together. That's, for me, that's what I think. Star Wars Trilogy did that. Even the prequels, it did that. You know, I like the prequels. You know, say what you will, but... You can't lie that it did come together for Star Wars... To Star Wars Episode Four very well. Um... Lord of the Rings is another great example of everything coming full circle. Um, you know, The Hobbit coming out should be cool. Um, I also thought, I'd say Godfather 3, but I do like Godfather 3. I just don't like it as much as the first two, but, which I've debated with myself, which Godfather is better one or two, but I don't know. 
I just can never really decide. I guess it's like whatever mood I'm in. Um, however, for like Star Wars for me, it's episode four. It's the original. That's me. But for Batman, I thought, well, you know, this is a movie series that is really good. Like, for me, each one was better than the last one. When I saw Batman and Robin, I was like a really little. I loved Batman. My whole world at that point was like Star Wars, Sharks, because I like Sharks, and Batman. Those were the three things I liked. I like the Tim Burton movies, but I don't know. I think because I'm a little, I was a little kid, I liked the Schumacher movies better, just because, you know, they're more kid friendly, and you know, when you're, you know, it did appeal to me as a kid. But as I got older, I think around age seven, I was questioning, what, oh, are these movies really better than the Tim Burton movies? Because um, I was really watching a lot. The first two more, more and more, around that time. And I kept debating, and it wasn't until I saw Batman Begins um, that I'm like, yeah, it really is. Those were, yeah, those movies were better than the last two movies. But Batman Begins is like the best out of all of them. When The Dark Knight comes out, it's better than last one and this came out and yeah you may say there are plot holes but for me it's like um it's kind of human nature like you know one scenario might happen and you're like well why did that happen if it just did this instead of that and no this would have happened but yeah in my thing is it's human nature people would do that in real life because the Nolan trilogy is basically reality now the Burton movies are and I like the Burton movies the only thing is that it's, the first one does really stay true to the comics of that time as is the Nolan series it's like the Nolan series is, stays with the time of today as well as the darker roots of 90s, 80s, and all that. Basically all the dark stuff. Um, so, I love the first one. It says the second one I was, now looking back, I'm a little disappointed with it. Only because it's more of a Tim Burton movie. Which isn't a bad thing. But, you know, Tim Burton clearly had his own style. Now when you see all of his movies now, it, and you can tell it's a Tim Burton movie, like Beetlejuice. You see Batman, Batman Returns. You wouldn't think it was a Tim Burton movie. But the second one, you can kind of tell a little more it's made by Tim Burton than the first one. I mean, because of how it is darker, which I liked. Um, but, yeah. I guess now looking back, I that's why I'm a little disappointed. It's too more of a closer to a Burton movie, and like I say, it's not bad, but because you know it should have the director style, but it's just it went from the first movie, which you wouldn't think <clears throat> from Pee Wee's Big Adventure and Beetlejuice, you wouldn't think that was the same director that made those two movies, made Batman. And, but, but then now you can really tell that it is the same person that made them. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into too much detail about this. Maybe I will one day, but I'm just going to say that they're... Warner Brothers has been promoting this movie for the Oscars. And I think this movie deserves a lot of Oscars. Some I think, well, like Lincoln and Margot and things like that. Yeah, those are good movies, but just hear me out. All right, everyone has their own opinion. 
They were nominated. F they wanted to be nominated for Best Picture, obviously, which I think it deserves, because it is a great movie. It's a great ending to a great trilogy. Best Director, which I think it should definitely get, because no one deserves it. He deserved it long ago with The Dark Knight, as well as that movie getting Best Picture nominated. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I I've seen Slumdog Millionaire. I like it. But, you know, I don't think it deserved, like, the amount of, like, the type of Oscars it got. I don't think it deserved that. But, yeah. I think it should have been nominated for Best Picture. And I think Christian Bale should have been nominated for Best Actor. You know, I'm not saying he would have gotten it, but, you know, at least acknowledge him. For that, it's also been nominated for. They wanted to be. They want to be nominated for adapted best adapted screenplay. <coughs> Which I don't know if it would win that, but I guess it would be worth nominating. I don't think it would be worth have it win it, but sure acknowledge it. I guess. I think it'll be a stretch if for it to win screenplay. Some might say because of the plot holes, but then again, I, my defense, it's what people would do. And it has great writing, but, you know, at the same time, you gotta kind of have to look realistically. Best actor, which is Christian Bale, obviously. And as I said before, I think he should have been nominated for The Dark Knight. As well as Batman Begins, you know. And I think this performance of him being Bruce Wayne and Batman <clears throat> was the best. Because each movie he get, has gotten better and better. And that is good because you have to evolve the character. You can't have it being the same person. Or the same thing, basically. I mean, yeah, you have to keep some of the elements... Certain basic elements throughout the whole series. But you also have to evolve the character. He either gets smarter or stupider. <clears throat> he gets smarter, obviously, because he's Batman. And he just has to. He's a character who evolves. And I think he should get nominated for this movie, and I think he should win it. And I have seen Argo, which I don't know if Ben Affleck would win Best Actor. What do you mean, nominated? But, you know, some people have said that, which I'm like, uh, that's kind of a little stretch. You know, like screenplay for The Dark Knight Rises, Ben Affleck has Best Actor, yeah, that'd be a little, kind of a stretch. Um, Lincoln. Um, Danny Day Lewis was amazing as Abraham Lincoln. The thing with Lincoln is that it's that it's the typical movie that just would win all those Oscars. I mean, you never hear about <clears throat> a movie like Batman ever winning like the major categories. Yeah, Heath Ledger won Best Supporting Actor, but that's because he did deserve it. Um, some people think he would have. Wouldn't have won it if he didn't die. Which, when I think about it, I think it could happen that he wouldn't have if he didn't die. If he, yeah, if he didn't die. Just because that's the way the Oscar people go, you know. They they might they'll acknowledge how their great acting, like a director, like they'll acknowledge their them as a great director. But they just won't let them win. But when somebody like Heath Ledger dies, which again is very sad, and he's beloved by a lot of people, you know, a lot of people in the industry, a lot of people everywhere, and 
Yeah. I th- I think that they he would have won it anyway, but you know, I'm just trying to make the point that you can never really predict the Oscars. You think they'll go one way, then they'll just go the opposite direction. Um, so, yeah, like Batman isn't the type of movie that would win any category that's big. But I do think Christian Bale should have get nominated and win because he was he was great in that movie. And is a great actor in general, and he should have been acknowledged way more than he has been. Uh, should have also been not at least nominated for American Psycho. Um, and I am happy he won his Oscar for The Fighter, which he did deserve. That's another role which I think he deserved. It, but he is a very underrated actor, you know, as is Daniel Day Lewis. But Daniel Day Lewis and that type of movie is just a typical type of movie that would win those awards. Um. Also, in Hathaway is Best Actress, which I thought she would be nominated for Best Supporting Actress myself. <coughs> Wait, no, that's just me. She did do a very great job. I don't know if she would win, but I, th- I think she would deserve to get nominated. Best Supporting Actor, it's... Michael Caine, Gary Oldman, Morgan Freeman, Tom Hardy, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I kind of think Tom Hardy, Gary Oldman, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt should get nominated. I would like to see Gary Oldman win, because he's made movies for many years. and His first Oscar nomination was for Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, which is a great movie. But, you know, he did a great job in this movie. Um, but I would also kind of like to see either Tom Hardy or Joseph Gordon-Levitt win. But, yeah. I also would like to... Yeah. Um, Marion Cotillard for Best Supporting Actress. Which I don't know. She is a great actress, but I don't know if that would be the type of role for her to get nominated. And, you know, of course, all the technical stuff it would be nominated for, but those were, like, the big categories it would be nominated for. Um, But I really think it should win music, for sure. I think it has music in the bag just right away, because... The whole trilogy is just amazing. And I can't believe that Hans Zimmer and James Newton Howard, who didn't do the music in this movie, as we all know, they should have been nominated and won for the first two movies. Because the music in those movies of, of, the, of this whole trilogy is just epic. It's just like Star Wars, you know. Like I say again, say whatever you want about the prequels and stuff, but the music is always kick ass. Star Wars' music is kick ass, and the new Batman music is kick ass. And I'm just. Uh, I love it. Um, but yeah, this is just me, my movie thing. I'm just saying. This is kind of what my thoughts are for Oscars of both the past and um, for this upcoming season of the Oscars. I'm not trying to bash the Oscars in any way at all. You know, don't think I am. I'm just pointing out certain facts, I guess you could say. That are true. They don't acknowledge great movies as much as they should. Um, 
as well as actors and directors um, of either both winning nomination, winning the no nominations there of the categories that they were in, which doesn't really make sense, um, of either have them be nominated for the category and then them not winning it when they deserve it, or them just not getting nominated at all, like for acting or directing or best picture or so on and so forth. I really would like to see all the things I've said happen you know but realistically I'm not gonna really hope really high my hopes my hopes are high high for the Dark Knight Rises of getting the nominations and getting in like the nominations that they're campaigning for and getting the wins, hopefully, like a majority of them. Like, I would like them to see win, like, all the major categories. Maybe, like, lose a couple of technical awards, because really, you look at it, technical awards, it's kind of like, yeah, I understand you should not, you should acknowledge those really behind the scenes as well. But some of the technical awards that they have, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of, ridiculous because it kind of takes forever for them to get through the whole ceremony and it could be like three hours long or something but yeah this is Jared's Corner I have said my statement to you and if you don't like it that's fine uh, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just trying to, or sway your opinion either way. If maybe if I what I've said, you may consider thinking a little differently or whatever. That's fine too. I'm not trying to. Some people when they, you know, explain things, I might tend to agree because just the way they explained it. it that might get me thinking, and maybe I'll eventually form that as the opinion of what I have as well, and might change. But everyone has their own opinion. I've spoken my opinion, spoke my mind, and maybe a little too much. But yeah, you can write comments or whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, See you next time, hopefully.